The Taxonomy Manager is the page where you create, upload, and delete taxonomies. This brief tutorial explains how to create a new taxonomy, import an existing taxonomy, and edit the list of taxonomies. You can think of the Taxonomy Manager as an alternative interface to the SharePoint Managed Metadata Service. Each taxonomy corresponds with the term set in the MMS. We've already loaded a few taxonomies into this machine. The columns in this table should be pretty obvious, but I'll go over them quickly anyway. Click the Rename button to change a taxonomy's name. This also changes the name of the corresponding term set in SharePoint. Click the Download button to download an XML version of the taxonomy in SCOS format. You can enable or disable a taxonomy by clicking on this button. Enabled taxonomies are used by the auto-tagging engine to tag documents. If a taxonomy is disabled, you can still use it like an ordinary SharePoint term set, but it will not participate in auto-tagging of documents. And of course, you can delete a taxonomy and all of its terms with the delete button. Let's create a new taxonomy called Secrets. To create a taxonomy from scratch, enter the name in the field at the top of the frame and click Create. A new, empty taxonomy is created in the taxonomy list. Now let's import a taxonomy. The Integrated Public Sector Vocabulary is an open source taxonomy from the UK government. We happen to have it in CSV format expected by SharePoint. As you can see, there is a fairly simple file format and there are 4,164 terms. Click on Upload. Select the IPSV.CSV file. The Taxonomy Manager will upload the file. It only takes a few seconds. In the background, the Taxonomy Manager is creating a new term object for each record, generating a simple query from the name and storing it in the Manage Metadata service. That's it for this tutorial. Check out the tutorials on editing taxonomy rules, annotating documents, and other features of the taxonomy server.